Welcome back to Deal Unboxing. Finding the 10GB NAS for a budget friendly price is hard, but Terramaster is set to change all that with their latest F2 series NAS systems. And today we're going to review their F-422 model. So in this review we're going to go over the features, specs, benchmarks and also do a teardown of this NAS. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the review. And also please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Let's first do a quick unboxing. The box comes with the NAS system, an external power supply, an ethernet cable, screws for hard drives, and a quick start guide and warranty information. Now let's look at the specs. The NAS is powered by 1.5 GHz quad-core processor, 4 GB RAM, can be upgraded to 12 GB, it can accept 2.5 and 3.5 inch SATA hard drive up to 18 TB each for a total storage of 36 TB. It supports multiple file systems and RAID configurations including single, JBOD, RAID 0, RAID 1. It also supports real 4K hardware transcoding for up to two devices at the same time and also offers up to 650 megabytes per second read and write performance. The NAS measures 8.94 by 5.24 by 4.69 inches and weighs only 3.5 pounds without the hard drives. On the front of the NAS, there's a power button, LED status indicator for hard drives and network. In the back, there's a single 80mm fan that keeps the internal hardware and hard drives from overheating. Looking at the ports, there's a single 10GB LAN port. There are also two 1GB LAN ports, two USB 3 ports, HDMI port, and a power supply connection. Now let's talk about design and build quality. The build quality is great and casing is a combination of metal and plastic with Terramaster's signature silver color. Installing hard drives are easy with available hot swap sleds using the provided screws for both 2.5 and 3.5 inch hard drives with included screwdriver. The NAS comes with different memory configurations and our unit came with 4 GB RAM soldered to the motherboard but you can upgrade RAM to up to 12 GB with the available sodium slot and in order to add more RAM you need to open the case which is held by screws in the back of the case then slide the casing off and you will see the empty RAM slot. Terramaster had a nice motherboard design with a good heatsink for CPU without active cooling since CPU TDP is only 10 watt. There's also an internal USB connector and Terramaster using a USB stick as a flash memory. The SATA expansion card is connected to the motherboard using PCI Express connector. All this hardware is cooled by a single smart 80mm fan. Now let's talk about performance. Terramaster can support up to 2.5 inch hard drive and 3.5 inch hard drives. For the performance test, we will be using a pair of SATA 3 SSDs and Seagate Ironwolf 8TB hard drive in different configurations. And also, we will be using 10GB network connection to measure the maximum performance of the NAS. We will also compare the EXT4 and BTRFS file system to see which file can provide a better performance. For the first test, we are using a single SSD hard drive and a Seagate Ironwolf hard drive configured as a single individual volumes with no RAID setup. We will doing a file transfer test by connecting our server to a NAS and both server and NAS are using 10 GB connection and we are going to transfer up to 5 GB ISO file to measure the read and write performance. So as you can see on the screen on the left side, we have our server window and on the right side is the Terramaster NAS and its performance monitoring tool. First we are going to transfer a file to ext4 SSD volume from the server to measure the performance. So as you can see on the screen we are able to achieve 650 megabytes per second write transfer speed. Now we are going to transfer the same file from the NAS to the server and as you can see we are again able to achieve close to 600 megabytes per second transfer speed. So basically we are saturating the SATA 3 connections 650 megabytes per second read and write speed. For the second test we will use Seagate 8 terabyte hard drive volume with ext4 file system as well to see how performance compares and are we limited by the read and write speed of the hard drive. So as you can see on the screen we are able to achieve close to full read and write speed of the conventional hard drive as well but not as fast as the SSD speeds and there are plenty of network bandwidth room available. For the next test we are going to use two SSDs in RAID 0 with ext file system configuration and we are going to transfer the same 5GB file from server to NAS and as you can see we are able to achieve 600 megabytes per second write speed again and saturating the SATA 3 connection even though 10GB have plenty of network bandwidth available. In the next test we are going to use BRTS file system with two SSDs configured in RAID 0 and we are going to transfer the same 5GB file from our server to NAS and from our NAS to server. First transferring file from server to NAS, be able to achieve 700 megabytes per second write speed, which is impressive, and the network monitoring on the NAS also confirms the bandwidth speed. Then transferring the same file from the NAS to server, be able to achieve 650 megabytes per second read speed, which is again excellent results. In the next test, we are going to use AJA system test to measure the performance of the NAS, and we achieve very similar results as before, achieving 704 megabytes per second write and 500 plus megabytes per second read speeds. Again, excellent results. These results clearly confirm the Terramaster's 650 megabytes per second read and write speed claim and also confirms the BRFTS file system is faster comparable to ext4 format. Next, we are going to test the 4K video transcoding and streaming test. For this test, we are going to use two iPhones. One is iPhone 11 
and second is iPhone 8 Plus to see how NAS handle multiple 4K streaming and transcoding. For this test, we installed TerraMaster's native multimedia server app and set up with proper configuration to handle 4K video transcoding and also enable real-time transcoding. There are also plenty of configuration options for audio transcoding and some custom modes. So as you can see, we have two iPhones stack on top of each other and the right we have a NAS resource tool to see the utilization. So I played the 4K clip on both iPhones at the same time and as you can see, NAS was able to handle it without any problem. There are plenty of bandwidth and CPU and RAM resources available to handle 4K streaming without any problem. These are excellent results and confirming the TerraMaster claim to handle multiple 4K streaming. Now let's talk about TerraMaster operating system and setup. It is a web-based NAS TOS and Linux-based operating system that makes configuration and management extremely easy. So I attach the NAS to my router, power it up, then download the TerraMaster app from iOS App Store. The software will scan your network and find the NAS for you. Select the NAS or double-click on the icon and it will open the web setup for you. First, you will be prompted to set up NAS server name, admin account and set up password. Then just follow the instructions to complete the initial setup and then select the RAID setup option or single volume. The main page of the OS will present you with some tiles like file manager, application control panel, backup, remote access, help and technical support options. This hardware can sync to cloud and other NAS and externally connect USB devices. There are plenty of configuration options to choose and plenty of installable apps available in the application section including Plex. The TOS operating system was snappy and we had no problem installing any apps or any other program during any file system configuration, which is an A plus in my opinion to keep the consumers and advanced users happy. But keep in mind the more apps you install, the more RAM will be utilized and it can affect the performance of the NAS. TerraMaster also offers mobile app to configure some settings from the app. Also you can back up iPhone or Android phone pictures to the NAS, access your files and play multimedia files using the app. Let's do the final summary. The TerraMaster F-422 is an excellent 10 GB NAS for small businesses and home users looking for personal cloud or local storage to either back up their data or share photos or use it as a multimedia streaming server for 5 to 10 users max. It performs extremely well in those categories. The fact is that NAS has 10 GB LAN is incredible at this price. The NAS ability to handle multiple 4K and 1080p streams, great read and write speeds, Plex compatibility, ability to upgrade RAM and multiple RAID configuration and multiple file system is a big plus point as well. On that basis, I highly recommend TerraMaster for anyone who's in the market for an affordable 10 GB NAS with excellent performance and a great configuration options. Let me know what you guys think of NAS review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.